All Recipes member Jamie shares this recipe for authentic Mexican tortillas, saying, I learned how to make these growing up watching my mother, Alma. Let's start by placing three cups of flour in a large bowl. Add two teaspoons of baking powder and two teaspoons of salt. Stir the dry ingredients together, then add three quarters of a cup of shortening. Cut in the shortening using a pastry cutter. If you don't have a pastry cutter, try using two knives instead. The mixture should become crumbly. If it's not crumbly, go ahead and add one or two more tablespoons of shortening until it becomes crumbly. Add about three quarters of a cup of hot water and stir. You'll only need enough water to make the ingredients look moist. Using a large fork, knead the mixture in the bowl. Make sure to press against the sides of the bowl to incorporate all the dough. If the dough sticks to the sides of the bowl, add a little flour until the dough forms a soft, round shape. Cover the bowl with a dish towel and let it rest for about an hour. Divide the dough into eight to 10 balls. Sprinkle the work surface with flour. And then use a rolling pin to roll each ball of dough into a circle. The dough should be about an eighth of an inch thick and about six inches in diameter. All Recipes member Kevin suggests using a saucer to cut the perfect round shape. You can roll the excess dough into more balls to make more tortillas. Once the tortillas are rolled and ready, Place a cast iron skillet over medium heat. If you wish, as one All Recipes member suggested, you can add a tiny bit of oil to the skillet first. Cook each tortilla for about one minute. Then turn it and cook it for another minute. Be careful not to overcook the tortillas or they will be too dry. Use these authentic Mexican tortillas in all kinds of recipes. Try making quesadillas, soft tacos, or enchiladas.